Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, February 20th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. For a while there, it was a normal thing to hear athletes and media members from the community talk about the business of bodybuilding. And as much as we like to live in our own little bubbles and think about bodybuilding as a holistic and pristine thing, at the end of the day, it is still just a business. And last week, we were reminded of that when Flex Magazine, Muscle and Fitness, and the Mr. Olympia contest were all sold to Jake Wood, who's also the owner of Wings of Strength. After the acquisition, Jake did come out and make a public statement saying that he wanted to bring bodybuilding back to the fans, which is a breath of fresh air in my ears. That being said, I think we should start to keep an eye on how the business model of bodybuilding shifts over the next few years. The old model where everything exists in isolation silos doesn't work in 2020. That's not the economic world we're living in. So it'll be interesting to see if Jake has the vision and the savvy to carry bodybuilding into the 21st century. It's impossible to learn anything about a person's character when things are going good. Life is great, but it's all sunshine and rainbows. But the rainy days are another story because those are the times when you see people start to reveal who they really are. Last weekend, we saw bodybuilding legend Flex Wheeler put his character on full display again when he stepped back into the gym to train legs for the first time only weeks after having surgery to amputate the lower part of his right leg. All things considered, Flex's attitude throughout this whole thing has been amazing which is no surprise that he's already at this point in his recovery. And it just goes to show you that no matter how dark the clouds might get sometimes, if you fight hard enough, there's always light on the other side. We all hit a certain point in life when we realize that it doesn't matter how carefully you plan, sometimes the universe just has other ideas about the way things are supposed to go. And unfortunately, it seems like that might be the case for Ashley Kaltrasser right now. Last week, we reported on the former three-time Bikini Olympia champ's eye surgery. And at the time of the taping, we still hadn't heard any word about whether or not the surgery was going to impact her plans for competing. But now the word is in, Ashley Kaltrasser is officially out of the 2020 Bikini International. And at the end of the day, taking care of your health should always be priority number one here. So I'm glad she's decided to do the right thing. And assuming her recovery goes as expected, I'm sure she'll be back to full strength again by the time we get into the heart of the contest season. It's February, and that means we're still a long ways away from the New York Pro. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't take time to celebrate Evan Santapani throwing his name into the mix. Believe it or not, it's been almost four years already since the last time we saw Evan compete, which means he has a lot of rust to knock off between now and May. That being said, Evan was one of the best in the business when he was at the peak of his powers, so he definitely has the ability to be a factor in New York and possibly win yet another prestigious title. Stay tuned. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.